Hey, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around a UT Series model utility landscape trailer from Lamar. Uh, we've got a video previously from this, but there's been a few updates to the standard features on this. This one here's got most of the new standard features. Uh, shown here would be a 77 by 14. Uh, now we're going to be doing more of these in a full 7 foot. Uh, so again, this is about 6 foot 5. The new ones are going to be about 6 10. Other than that, it's got most of the standards. It's a 7,000 pound GVW trailer. It's gonna weigh in at about 1,700 pounds. Uh, most common sizes would be a 14 and 16. We stock it also in an 18. You can get it in higher GVWs, but it would go to a different model. So let's take a walk around this. So trailer again, GVW seven minus the empty. You're gonna have about 5,300 pounds of payload. Uh, it doesn't count tongue weight. Now, some people say, oh, I can put my 6,000 pound compact tractor on here, and the answer would be maybe, but that's not what it's designed for. This isn't an equipment trailer, it's a utility. Even though it's got a heavy duty gate at the back, the 5,300 pound payload would be spread on the trailer and not necessarily all going up the ramp at the same time. We'll show you the ramp in a little bit. It is a very strong ramp. I would say stronger than most in the industry. But like any utility trailer, it does have certain limitations and you know, you need to proceed with caution. Up front, uh, now it's gonna have a Bulldog coupler instead of the stamp coupler or yoke style. Uh, this is the Bulldog. That's a, a very high-end coupler, generally seen on livestock trailers, not something you'd normally see on most utilities. Also, instead of a traditional A-frame jack, it's got the setback jack. It's designed to keep from uh, damaging a truck tailgate. A lot easier to do this to the trailer than it is to replace a couple hundred dollar gate. Also, not only is it a sealed wire harness, this is a blue cold weather rated harness. This stays flexible down to negative temperatures. Of course, you've got your breakaway cable designed to, uh, designed to pull your, your breakaway battery in the event the trailer would disconnect. Of course, you've got your safety chains as well. At the bottom of the uh, jack, you've got your sand foot. New design also on the jack. They support it not only with the channel up top, they also put a kicker knee that comes down and supports it farther down as well so that uh, it prevent if you unloaded during load and it was on an incline from bending that jack up or certainly help prevent it anyway. Uh, this unit here is shown in charcoal powder coat. It is our most common color. When I do the charcoal powder coat, we also generally spec with the black mod wheels. So a couple nice standard features on this. It has a four inch channel full wrap tongue. So the tongue wraps all the way back toward the spring hanger there. It's got a traditional angle frame utility. It's got standard pin striping, gives it a nice clean look. Also has the new bullet style LED lights. It's got a two by eight pressure treated pine deck. And this trailer is powder coated. Notice it's got the fender support up front and behind. Radial tires are standard. It's a 205-75 R15 load range C six ply tire. Do a fender support as well. So if somebody were to sit on a fender or something similar, it's not gonna crush the fender on you. These are Dexter axles. It's got brakes on both axles. Uh, that is not a standard, but that is how all of our trailers are ordered. It's also got the newer never adjusting brakes. Never adjust brakes are simply that. You don't have to adjust them, they self adjust similar to a car style brake. Also standard on these would be the Easy Loop hub. You could peel that black cap off, there's a grease zert behind it for servicing your bearings. So again, while I'd caution anybody from putting a decent sized compact tractor or similar on here, you can see this gate is made out of two by two box tube, not angle iron. Uh, this will accommodate uh, higher weight rating units, but again, I would be cautious on how heavy you put on. In the background there, to give you an idea, is about a 60 horse compact tractor. While it would probably go up that gate and probably not hurt it whatsoever, uh, proceed with caution. Another thing that they do different than most in the industry, if you look, this is boxed out back here in the bumper. So again, that's traditionally what'll make the gate fail. It'll be a combination of that back bumper pushing, uh, which will make the, the gate generally fail. This is boxed out bumper and two by two tube gate. So certainly one of the stronger uh, gate rear end combinations in the industry. 
Of course, instead of the uh, brackets coming out, they integrate the lights into that back tube. Again, sealed beam LED light, three markers in the middle. Now, one thing that is now a standard feature not shown on this would be spring assist. Your spring assist would mount on there and lighten up this gate. Because again, it is two by two tube. It is a fairly heavy gate, but again, keep in mind, you're only lifting half the gate. The other half would be on the hinge. Springs just make it very nice for any sort of more commercial application, something where you're going up and down more often. So again, this is shown in a 14. So a lot of the 14s and the 16s. This is a two inch coupler as well. We we're talking earlier about the Bulldog style. So this is one of the rare trailers where it is a two inch coupler on a tandem. More often than not, a tandem axle on a stamp coupler is pretty much always gonna be a two and five sixteenth. Here we've got a two inch. So again, folks, a lot of value packed into these UT, UT series trailers. Uh, prices do change, of course, but right now, market price on a unit like that's $24.95. Of course, uh, that'll vary around the country and certainly dealer by dealer, but we're selling these currently at $24.95. If you have any questions, check out our website, bestchoicetrailers.com. You can call us at 717-220-4220. Thanks a lot for looking.